the Corel 8 screen, we first draw some object and group it. This frame around is necessary so we can export it properly. We select the object, in this case a car, and we move it forward using the arrow keys by pressing right arrow a certain number of times. It is important that you advance the car by the same amount of keystrokes in order for the animation to be even. Now we save the drawing as Carrito 00 and we export it by the name of Carrito 00 JPG in the same folder we are using for our experiment. Then we go to Save As and save the drawing as Carrito01.cdr. We now make sure to select the car and advance it again by the same amount of keystrokes as we just did. We save these changes and export the file again. By default it is going to be exported as carrito01.jpg. We now save the current drawing as carrito02.cdr. We now advance the car as previously using the arrow keys. We save the changes again and export the file. Again, by default, it is exported as carrito02.jpg. We now go to Save As and save the file as carrito03.cdr. The idea is to keep all image data, such as the frame size, car size, etc., and merely updating the changes in car position. We move it forward again. We save and go to export and export it as carrito03.jpg. We now save the current drawing as carrito04.cdr. Once again we move it forward. We save the changes in export. This time by default it is exported as carrito04.jpg. Now we save our file as carrito05.cdr. Once more we move the car forward. We save changes. We export as carrito05.jpg. Now let's watch the frame sequence in the media player. In the case of a rotating object, you must place the pivot point in coral where the center of rotation will be. Then you must proceed to rotate it by pressing the control key each time you rotate the object with the mouse. So it will rotate by the same amount of degrees for every frame. The rest of the procedure is just as with the car. 
the sequence of save as, make changes in position, save those changes, then export and finally save as again using file names which relate to the action in the animation and with a number at the end of each file name in an upgoing sequence every time you save as. I hope this is useful for those who like experimenting even before they can get their hands on an animation software.